Hey guys, welcome back to 702 Motoring in Las Vegas. So tonight's video is a little bit different. It's not going to be showcasing a motorcycle system that we're doing. It's going to be showcasing a product comparison. Now, people are aware that I have compared products in the past. I've done them ethically and honestly with my opinion. So I'm going to do it again, comparing a Diamond Audio 6x9 with a Cicada 6x9 both coaxial horns. Now, this is a neutral comparison. It's not towards one manufacturer or another manufacturer. I'm just bringing to light comparisons for the consumer out there that may be shopping between either or of these speakers. Um, this is not a, I'll word this correctly. We're not moving from one to the other or any way, which way. I'm just explaining what I see as a car audio uh, specialist or Harley specialist. So this is the comp, very popular speaker, Diamond Audio MP694 coaxial horn. This is a competitor, Diamond Cicada 69.4 coaxial horn speaker. So many people know that the designer of this speaker was also the designer of this speaker. And then he opened his own company and did his own thing. So the first thing I notice is my belief, this is just my opinion, I can't say 100% for sure, I believe both speakers are manufactured in the same facility out in China. I'm not saying both speakers are the same because they're definitely not the same. Okay, so the baskets appear to be identical. One's painted gray. One's painted flat black. You know, I can see the way the uh, the construction is on the speaker. I, I, you know, not one is any better than the other. They're identical as far as I can see. The um, connections for the speaker wires are different. I, I like the Diamond Audio better. It seems to work better, you know, as far as inputting a speaker wire. This, you have to do a little more work. And it does appear... A, you know, a smaller wire would, a bigger wire, well, let me rephrase that. A wire that fits this speaker may have a little trouble fitting this speaker, unless you got the right connectors. So that's one step you don't have to worry about on this speaker here. Okay. So both magnets, neodymium magnets appear to be the same design, just with a different cap on it and a different top plate. But with that being said, they are completely different because the voice coils are different, okay? So that's what I see on the top and on the looking at the basket of the speaker. So when you go to the front, let me put them a little closer together. I, I, I mean, dimension-wise, they appear to be identical. I didn't compare, I wrote some specs down, but I didn't compare every single spec to see if one's any different one way or the other. To me, to me they look almost identical. So both carry the same double ridge design. Uh, the, the paper, this material looks to be identical in both. Obviously the horn construction is, is different. This gloss, this being flat. I see some more machining marks on the Diamond Audio, you know, than I do, this is just dust, than I do on the Cicada. I see a little, little spot. I don't know if you can even see it right there. But I see less machining marks on this speaker than I do this speaker. Okay? Don't know what that means. Just what I noticed. Uh, the, the names are in different positions. Okay? Which does make sense. The name like this by your connection. Um, because sit in a saddlebag. Well, realistically, I would put the speaker with the electro electrical connections facing inside the bag. If you're doing a simple 6x9, then the cicada would be upside down, technically. I don't like to put the connections on closer to the outside to flip of the bag because it's harder to hide the wires. I guess the diamond being here, if you flip it that way, you know, you're still going to have a logo that's semi, you know, neutral in positioning, I suppose you could say. Um, if you look at the voice coil, there's a the diamond. There's the cicada. There is quite a bit of difference right here. But before I explain that, let me explain to you the wattage ratings to, between these two speakers. The Diamond Audio 
It has 150 watts RMS, 300 watts max power. Now, that's not per speaker. That's split with a pair of speakers. So that puts Diamond Audio at 75 watts RMS, 150 watts max power. Now you compare that to the Cicada, it's 500 watts RMS, 1,000 watts max for the pair. So in other words, it's 250 watts RMS and 500 watts max. So you've got 250 RMS and you've got 75 RMS. So that's the difference. You have 150 watts max and you have 500 watts max. So that's a big difference. That that is a big difference. And I think a lot of it has to do with the voice coil because the mid-range voice coil on the Cicada is 2 inches, where on the Diamond Audio is 1.5. So this has half an inch larger of a voice coil, which in essence will allow it to take more RMS power. Um, the voice coil on the horn of the Diamond Audio is 1 inch, where on the Cicada is 1.4 inches. So, so across the spectrum so far, this would appear to be a better choice in a speaker. And we're not changing allegiance. We're not saying we're going to go from this to this. This is just talking good because we're honest. Even if it, even if it has to do with something other brand's product that we actually don't carry. So, with that being said, the Diamond Audio has a little spacer right here listed off the ridge right here, and. The Cicada uses it all the way around. So, you know, I think that's pretty cool. I think the Diamond looks a tad bit taller, but Cicada puts it all the way around. I'd have to measure it, but maybe they are the same. Height-wise, I think the Diamond's a tad bit taller, but the Cicada goes all the way around. So, so if this is the part that's gonna lay flush on whatever your mounting surface is going to be, and you, you go in to tighten it, there's more of a chance, and I've never seen that happen, okay, but there's more of a chance of you cracking this corner, this cast iron, this cast iron is brittle, on both of them, it, it'll crack. It, like I say, it's never happened to us, I've never had a speaker get returned because of that, but that possibility is there, where if you have this covering all the way around, you're not going to crack that corner. It'll be a lot harder for that to happen here than it would be on the speaker here. So if you look in the horn also, I found this quite interesting. Okay, so this is larger voice coil horn, half an inch larger. But if you look in a diamond, the horn is quite a bit different. The horn, to me, it appears larger. You, you see how much, I don't know if my phone's catching all that really good, but see how much large that is? And the cicada, it seems smaller. So, so that's when I said the magnets appear to be the same, but they're quite a bit of difference because inside this needed magnet is going to be the voice coil for the horn, which also comes off with four bolts that appear to be identical. <laughs> so I don't know what these sound like. We're going to put them in a, in a motorcycle right here, the bike we did. You may remember this bike a few, few weeks, uh, maybe a month ago or so. We put these 10s in it, and we bought these American Hard Bag covers because this 10 with this cut and style cut kit produces a lot of pressure inside this bag, a, a lot. And it's necessary to buy it. We bought these. These are bought from American Hard Bag. Very creative. We had to, we had to use a half-inch spacer that we modified slightly to get it to fit everything, make it fit perfectly in, you know, 702 motor and cutting kit. So we use these. And the customer went blew through two pairs of Diamond Audio and P694s. So the cone on the speaker separated, and rather quick, I'd say within a few, less than a week, the cone separated it right here. So we sent it back to Diamond Audio. We got a new replacement pair, and it didn't last. Again, it was separated. So customer's understanding, understanding very patient. I said, you know what? Buy a set of cicadas. Let's try it out. It's got a larger voice coil. It takes more power. Let's see the results using this speaker versus this speaker. Because we went through two pairs in less than a month. So we all know we don't want speakers going bad. 
So, and it's, it's protected from the, from the, the base pressure. So I'm not sure. I know how to tune bikes. Everybody's pretty clear on that right now. Using a DSP or not using a DSP. I know how to tune bikes. So we're going to put these in. Something I've also noticed are the crossovers. We've had a lot of issues recently out of these crossovers. And Diamond's aware of it. A lot of issues. So, and I've never held a cicada crossover in my life. Never even seen one in person until now. You're witnessing it with me. So I could pair them. And you, your, your cap is, is different, 3.3 versus 4.7. And the coil is actually a little bit different also. Now, this is to protect the horn. Now, I haven't had a horn problem out of the diamonds. This is to protect the horn. You've got two screws on each end. So you got four screws holding this thing solidly in place. And you have none on the diamond. Not that that's been an issue, okay? It's just, it's just something I notice. Um... The, the parts are sourced from the same place because you can see the model number here. It's, I'll read if you can't see, it's UDC, UQC, who knows what that says, 002C and a diamond 002B. So, so they're both, both crossovers, boards are being sourced from the same place. It's probably all, this, you know, to make a comparable speaker to this, you have to change 25% of the item or else you run into trademark issues so you know with the magnet the voice coil the connections the crossover clearly more than 25 percent has been changed so this is more sturdy of a crossover we've been going through these pretty quick lately so but diamonds aware of the issue so let's see what happens so one thing that both manufacturers recommend i do not agree with okay so cicada recommends you take your crossover and you connect it to your mid and you run your single power line. Same thing with diamond. So that's, that's how they recommend it. You take your crossover, you run it to the same channel with your mid. Okay, I've been in car audio for 35 years. I have never wired a bike that way and, and never will, unless customer says, hey, that's the way I want it. And this is the reason why. Many, many people already know this about me. I always tune my horns separate from my mids separate and it's to me it's, it's pretty simple why there's two different speakers you got a horn you got a mid completely different voice goals different frequencies are required different sensitivity on the amplifier is going to be required it, you know mo what i usually do i run my horns together front and rear and parallel and my mids front and rear and parallel and i tune them separately i always tune my mids first get that sound i want out of the system and, how, and with the way I tune it, many customers know how I do it. Many, many may not. You know, uh, I make it very clear. If people buy product from me, I send an email with distinct tuning instructions down to the song to tune it to. How to set your radio. You know, it's, I make it quite simple. But I never recommend this. N never recommend this. I, I don't know why they suggest that. Maybe because it's a little more difficult. You got to run two sets of speaker wires to saddlebag instead of one. You know, and their saddlebag cutting kits, even with this speaker, comes with one one speaker wire in each bag. So they they enforce that one channel to run both horn and mid. I'm not sure about Cicada because I've never, I'm not familiar with that product enough to know how they do their 6x9 kit. But I'm assuming it's going to be the same way. We run two sets of speaker leads into each saddlebag with quick disconnects. I always run my horns, separate from the mids. You know, the horn's not going to take as much power as the mid. So, you can have to turn your power down so, so you don't blow your horn, then you don't get up to the mid. <laughs> so, you know, or you run just enough to the, I don't know, I, it doesn't even make sense in my brain, so I'd never do it that way. You know, never. Now, other guys may out there say, man, you know what, just use a DSP, that solves your problem. And they would be right, because when you use a digital sound processor, you don't use the crossovers. They're eliminated completely. But each channel of DSP is running a horn and a mid separately. So that part I don't agree with each brand of speaker. I'm not sure how other brands are out there. But these are two very popular brands. They run about the same amount of money. You know, we're going to put these in a spike tomorrow. We're going to see how good it sounds. And then I'll come back to another video and I'll, I'll let you know. I'll go, hey, 
this sounded better or this sounded better. I don't know. And it's an honest review between a Diamond Audio MP694 and a Cicada CH694.4. They also make this in 2 ohm. Diamond also makes a 692 in 2 ohm. But we're comparing a 4 ohm version against a 4 ohm version. We're not going to dilute the comparison. It's going to be identical, identical. So that's an honest review from 702 Motoring, where we stand right now. Once we get these speakers in, we'll give you another review. All right, guys, talk to you soon. 702 Motoring in Las Vegas.